That is a great start. I'd like to call this meeting of the Carpentersville Village Board to order. Please call the roll. Trustee Burroway? Here. Trustee Stevens? Trustee Humphrey? Here. Trustee Savvy? Here. Trustee Rayberg? Trustee <coughs> Schultz? Here. And President Ritter? Here. Uh, Trustee Stevens is ahead to attend a funeral, and Trustee Rayberg is uh, on a business trip. Uh, at this point, we'll rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for an invocation from Pastor Parcher. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Pastor Parcher. Before I pray, I wanted to uh, just, again, uh, extend the thanks to the village board of Carpentersville and just uh, helping us as a church, H2O Church, uh, to reach out into this community and, and the vision that has been shown in that area. Uh, we have this Thursday, National Day of Prayer. It's been a while since we've done that. The Carpentersville Clergy Committee has uh, reconvened, and we'll be meeting this Thursday at 6 o'clock here at the Village Hall, rain or shine, to uh, do that. So thank you for that chance to share that. Let's pray. God, thank you for this day, and thank you for this community that we live in. I pray today for wisdom for the elected officials, and whatever challenges lay ahead, whatever blessings lay ahead, I ask for you to work through our elected officials to bring a healthier and more vibrant community. I ask for your protection and provision over the women and men that serve in our fire and police departments, and I pray that the people of Carpentersville, people of all different faiths, or people of no faith would be bound together in unity of purpose and vision, and that that purpose and vision would be to continue to make Carpentersville a safe, growing, and thriving community that cherishes all of its members. So God, I pray for your wisdom to guide this meeting, and it is in your name that I pray. Amen. Okay, under proclamations, congratulatory resolutions and awards, we do have one proclamation today. This is uh, Police Week, May 14 to 20, and our proclamation reads as follows. Whereas the Congress and President of the United States have designated May 15th as Peace Officers Memorial Day and the week at which it falls as Police Week, and whereas the members of law enforcement agency of Carpentersville play an essential role in safeguarding the rights and freedoms of citizens of Carpentersville, and whereas it is important that all citizens know and understand the problems, duties, responsibilities of their police department, and that members of our police department recognize their duty to serve the people by safeguarding life and property, by protecting them against violence and disorder, and by protecting the innocent against deception and the weak against oppression or intimidation. And whereas the Carpentersville Police Department has grown to be a modern and scientific law enforcement agency which ceaselessly provides a vital public service, now therefore I, Village President Ed Ritter, call upon all citizens of the village of Carpentersville and upon all patriotic, civil, and educational organizations to observe the week of May 14 to 20, 2017 as Police Week with appropriate ceremonies in which all our people may join in commemorating police officers past and present who by their faithful and loyal devotion to their responsibilities have rendered a dedicated service to their <laughs> communities and in doing so have established for themselves an enviable during and enduring reputation for preserving the rights and security of all citizens. I further call upon all citizens of Carpentersville to observe May 15th as, police, as Peace Officers Memorial Day to honor those peace officers who through their courageous deeds have lost their lives or have become disabled in the performance of duty. In witness thereof, I have under 
I have underneath set my hand and caused the seal of the village of Carpentersville to be affixed. Done at the Carpentersville Village this second day of May 2017. I want to add my personal thanks to our police department for the excellent work they do and the great strides they have made in protecting our citizens. Thank you, Chief. Take that back to all of your officers. We have uh, public comment. We have one commenter this evening, uh, Jared Sanchez. If you want to come forward. <coughs> Good evening, Chairman. Thank you to the board. Um, I just wanted to stop in and say hello. I haven't uh, checked in with you guys since I won the election. If anybody doesn't know, I'm a Kane County board member for this area. Um, I wanted to you know, meet and congratulate the new people coming out of the board and to thank you, Mr. Ritter, as I know you from middle school days, uh, for all of your service and dedication to this community. Uh, you have definitely been a big staple and a big change of a big part of the change in Carpentersville that's made it a better place, um, as we've had many discussions about the uh, changing face of Carpentersville. So thank you for your service. And again, just to say hello, um, I'm around. Please reach out to me for anything. Um, we're working on some health and nutrition stuff right now with the public health department, trying to get a nutrition and uh, fitness council together in Carpentersville. So if any of you know anybody that would like to take part in that, that would be great. We're working on a, uh, a grant challenge as well is coordinated with that. So, but other than that, thank you. And um, I'll see you around. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Chair. <coughs> okay, that was our <coughs> commenter this evening. So uh, next item would be consent agenda. All items listed on the consent agenda will be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion of those items unless a trustee so requests, in which event the item will be removed from the general order of business and considered in its normal sequence on the agenda. Uh, any items to be removed? I'll motion to pass the consent agenda. I'll second. Motion, Paul, second. Pat, please call the roll, Kelly. Trustee Humphrey? Yes. Trustee Sabi? Yes. Trustee Schultz? Yes. Trustee Burroway? Yes. Trustee Stevens is absent. Trustee Rayberg absent. Okay. Thank you. So the resolution, uh, the consent agenda passes. There are a few items of interest on here in our continuing efforts to upgrade the infrastructure of Carpentersville. There will be a culvert replaced on Williams Road. It's in pretty bad shape if I understand right, and that will be an upcoming job. Uh, we have our west side resurfacing project, which is ongoing. Most of the west side streets are 20 years old or so, which means it's time to grind them down and put a new surface on them. I think we're about halfway through that project in terms of, we've got about half of the west side streets now have been redone in the last couple of years. And the rest will be done over the next two years, I think. Uh, and uh, we're, uh, we, we are signing a contract to continue service with Allied Waste Services. Uh, this is really a, a very good deal for the village. Uh, we were originally going to take that out for bids, but uh, our manager had some connections and made a few calls, and Waste Management came up with a really good proposal that actually will save us about $1,200,000 over the next five years. will allow our program to stay the same. They had offered us a small, uh, they had offered us a better rate, but it would have involved using stickers on all your garbage bags, on all your waste. And we said, no, thank you. We like the way the program is now where people can get rid of their waste <coughs> just by putting a bag out, no sticker, no anything. It really helps keep our village looking a lot nicer. And we don't get stuff dumped in the parks, which was the process we had before we went to this program that we have now. So uh, with that in mind, uh, we can move on to reports of manager, officers, commissions, and staff. We have no reports from staff tonight. Village. Okay. <clears throat> Pat, any report from? I do. Go ahead. Last time, Ed, you got to listen to me ramble. So, okay, special events. So I just wanted to mention that we had our Arbor Day event 
as always, on the 28th. It was a very nice day. Um, it was a beautiful morning. Uh, the gods are smiling on us. Um, as you know, we have it in the park, and we asked Parkview uh, School to participate. Um, it was always the fourth grade class. They have now have extended their um, the grades to fifth grade, so we had our fifth graders this year. Wanted to say a big thank you to Bob Cole and Public Works uh, for making it another great event. I wanted to say thank you also to Russo Power Equipment. They donated all these totes so that the kids could have their uh, little saplings that they take home and some of their other stuff. Dairy Queen for all the uh, free cone certificates for all the kids and the gift certificates uh, for the coloring contest. There was some great pictures this year so kids did a really great job <clears throat> also wanted to say uh, another big thank you to Don Quiner our commissioner and Jim McFagan uh, for conducting the event it was uh, very nice just a couple of quick announcements uh, CMS is going to have their first concert jazz in the park May 13th in Carpenter Park by the stage that's a Saturday and that's from 6 to 8 um, and then they are going to have a second one that'll be June 15th that's the District 300 Summer Band Orchestra concert. That'll be from 5.30 to 9. As that gets closer, I'll make another announcement about that. Uh, just a reminder, it's a little bit of ways, but not that far. Uh, we'll be holding our fourth annual community yard sale. That'll be on Saturday, June 24th from 9 to 4. I think the submission forms will be available online. Probably at the Finance Department, they'll be available soon. <coughs> and then for special events, our next meeting is May 17th. Wednesday at 6.30, Public Works, and I'm sure we'll be uh, discussing the yard sale and other upcoming events that are scheduled and hope to be scheduled for this summer. And that would conclude my report. Thank you. Uh, Audit and Finance Chairman's not here, but I don't think we've had any meetings since uh, last report. Paul? Um, no report tonight. I'll save it for next meeting. Don? Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to mention the uh, C4 meeting which is Carpentersville Community <coughs> Cares. It's, uh, it's a substance abuse uh, prevention commission that uh, we started here about six, eight months ago. Uh, that will be held, that meeting will be held uh, May 11th at 7 o'clock at, at Public Works. I invite all of you to attend. It's a serious problem. Uh, Heroin overdose is on the rise, and uh, we have to meet that uh, challenge head on. And so through this commission, we have uh, some things going. It takes a while to establish it, and it's, uh, it's grant funded, so it's not uh, costing the village of Carpentersville anything, but a little of my time and the chief's time. So I invite all of you to attend, 7 o'clock, 5-11 at Public Works. Thank you. That should conclude all of our reports. We have no old business, no new business. The next would be trustee reports. Oh. Uh, we'll start with Paul. I have no report tonight. Thank you. I just wanted to say thank you to Pastor Ball for the uh, lunch program he's running this summer with Foxview. I was reading about it, and it's great. A lot of these kids who uh, don't get, get fed in the summer, um, the, w their churches are working together to, to put a lunch program <laughs> together for them. I just wanted to say thank you for that. And I just wanted to also thank Ginger again. She's not here, and Ed, and wish good luck to both John and Diane as we get started. Thank you. Uh, I just a uh, reminder, uh, as uh, um, Adam said, our National Day of Prayer is this Thursday in front of Village Hall. It'll be from uh, <coughs> 6 to 7, I believe. And also, um, to piggyback on that, that uh, lunch program at Foxview is uh, on Thursdays. Uh, Pastor Ball has that. He's also having, um, on June 9th, the summer kickoff block party down there, which I believe is a I believe it's a Friday, um, and that's from 6 to 8.30. Also, um, I did want to make mention, uh, in Kane County Connects, uh, the um, U.S. News, five Kane high schools were among the best in the state, and Dundee Crown ranked for the first time as number 82, which is really wonderful. It's a great achievement for them, and uh, we're very proud of them, and I hope they keep up the good work. So, And also, I did the same thing. Uh, we said last time um, 
our thanks to Ginger and to Ed, and congrats to John and Diane. Looking forward to working with them. So that will conclude my report. Um, I have another thank you uh, to go out to uh, Holland and Knight and uh, Hart there for uh, having a seminar for uh, village officials all over the area. There were a couple hundred people there. It was held on uh, April 21st in Glencoe. It was very nice to uh, see all the people show up. It, it taught us a lot. There was a lot of good information uh, in the breakout section, uh, sessions that could that covered a variety of topics, uh, uh, FOIA, uh, things like that, how to <laughs> be on a board. That was, that was a good one. And, uh, it, and just some other things that are, that are going on in the municipal government. And uh, we had a good time. It was <coughs> nice to see everybody there, meet some uh, new friends. And uh, uh, thank you very much for throwing that. We appreciate it. Thank you. That's all. President Ritter, I apologize. I just um, asked Mike if he wanted me to make this announcement. Was sitting up here. I uh, wanted to mention the Bolathon for the Special Olympics, sponsored by the Carpentersville Police Department. Uh, that's at Fox Liberty Lanes. That's May 13th. Uh, I believe it starts at 7. And it looks like they're going to have uh, check in at 6, bowling at 7. There'll be a cash bar. And looks like a lot of prizes, including a silent auction and a 50-50 raffle. So we encourage everybody to uh, come out and participate. It's for a good cause. So thank you, President. Okay. Uh, I don't have too much this evening. There is another <coughs> food track program, though, for kids to get lunch during the summer. It's run by the library in conjunction with the, the county food bank. And any student or any child who needs a lunch and stop in there and I can't give you the exact hours I think it's 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock every day during the summer hours when school's not in session and they can get a lunch so if you know somebody who is not getting fed every day which is very common uh, they can get to the library they can get a free lunch now, you can get more information from the library itself on this but it's open to anybody and with that it would be my turn to Congratulate uh, uh, John and uh, Diane for the election. I like, I appreciated the way they ran the election. John and I talked over before the election. In fact, as we were sitting out here waiting to turn our petitions in, and we both agreed that we would not do any negative campaigning, and that we would run this as a straight up person versus person, ideas versus ideas, and no negative campaigning and he and I both stuck with that. Uh, I think that's the way all elections should be. Unfortunately, it's not true anymore. To have a, an election like that is pretty unusual. But it would be my opportunity now to thank the village of Carpentersville for allowing me to be involved with the village for 18 years now uh, as a member of two different commissions and then as a trustee and now as village board president. Uh, it's been a great opportunity. I've been able to see a lot of great things happen in Carpentersville, and I have every confidence that uh, when the new board forms, the things will continue. I know I've talked to John enough to know where his heart is and that he's all in favor of going forward and making this a better and better place all the time. I'm sure that's what will happen. I know the rest of the board already feels that way. So it will be a great future for Carpentersville regardless of which one of us would have been the president. With that, uh, we, have, we have no closed session this today, but we do have to adjourn Sina Dea, which means that's the end of the old board <coughs> and reconvening of the new board. So I guess I need to call the roll on that. I need, to take so I need, a, I need a motion to adjourn. I'll motion Sina to adjourn. Dea. I'll second. Motion. Well, yeah, call the roll. <laughs> Trustee Sabi? Yes. Trustee Schultz? Yes. <clears throat> Trustee Burroway? Yes. Trustee Humpher? Yes. We'll convene, I think there's cake outside. No, 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 no. no, no. We have to swear. have to swear them in first. We have to swear them in oh. first. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Always wants to get to the camp. <laughs> yeah. The other way around, but. Yeah. <laughs>
in his defense, he does like Kegan. Yeah, right. If it, was, if it was, you know, I could, I could rely on it and you know, pay for my house. I don't know if I can do it for you. No one's, no one's offering any money for it yet, right? Please repeat after me. I, John Skillman. I, John Skillman. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution and the Constitution of the State of Illinois of the State of Illinois and that I will faithfully discharge and I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office the duties of the office of Village President of Village President for the Village of Carpentersville for the Village of Carpentersville Kane County, Illinois Kane County, Illinois according to the best of my abilities according to the best of my abilities Congratulations. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. and the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully <coughs> discharge. And I will faithfully discharge <coughs> the duties of the office. The duties of the office of Village Trustee. Of Village Trustee for the Village of Carpentersville. For the Village of Carpentersville, Kane County, Illinois. Kane County, Illinois. According to the best of my abilities. According to the best of my abilities. Congratulations. If you'll raise your right hand <laughs> and repeat after me, I, Pat Schultz, I, Pat Schultz do, solemnly swear do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Illinois and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office. The duties of the office of village trustee, of village trustee for the village of Carpentersville, the village of Carpentersville Kane, County, Illinois, Kane County, Illinois, according to the best of my abilities. According to the best of my abilities. Congratulations.
Thanks, everybody, for coming. I just have a, uh, <coughs> a, a presentation for President Ritter. If, President Ritter, if you could please come up to the podium. <laughs> I present to President Ed Ritter in grateful recognition of your outstanding and dedicated service to the North Carolina Ed said no more speeches, so he's good. <laughs> We're going to do, uh, we'll do cake in a couple minutes, okay, everybody? Um, i got to get used to this microphone, so. I just want to say uh, good evening, everybody. Thank you for, uh, for taking your time tonight to come out to the ceremony. Um, first of all, I'd like to, uh, pr again, thank uh, President Ritter for everything he's done for the past, uh, I had 12 years, but I think it was 18, he said, 18 years of service. Like we talked about, Ed and I didn't always get along, and we disagreed on some items, but we always cared about the village of Carpentersville and the good of the community, of course. So, um, Next, I'd like to thank my wife, Susan, and our family for the <coughs> unconditional support during the campaign. It was very stressful, the campaign. So um, it was uh, a lot of work, and uh, everybody was out. We worked hard. Uh, my campaign team that's here tonight, everybody's here. Uh, thanks, guys and gals for helping out. Um, we had a good time. We met a lot of people going door to door in our community and we had uh, we learned a lot. A lot of energy, a lot of positive energy out there. So um, I'd like to uh, thank my dad, my father. He, uh, John Van Dyke Skillman, John V. Skillman, he, um, he actually was the <coughs> past police chief of Carpentersville and village president here. So uh, thanks, dad. Um, Okay, so I, on, <coughs> on to uh, the business at hand. So what I ran on was uh, what I, uh, first of all, everybody pretty much knows I'm the retired fire chief of Carpentersville, and I know the insight, I know inside the makeup of our community and the background of the day-to-day -day operations pretty much. So, And everybody's kind of aware of you know where, what I've been. So um, I have some goals out to, uh, and <coughs> objectives I want to accomplish um, and w work with the board on. And um, I will we'll be discussing those in the next uh, couple weeks before the next meeting. So I'll reach out to everybody. But we want to uh, I want to conduct an internal employee survey of uh, of the employees and an external survey of our uh, of our residents, um, our external stakeholders. Um, I talked a little bit with the police chief and fire chief recently, and we talked about the strategic planning that they're working on in the fire department. And I thought, uh, as the chief and I discussed, we thought it'd be a great idea to get the external stakeholders. Um, some input from them so we know where we're going with our strategic plan. Um, the survey will also uh, also explain or hopefully get some information on how the board's doing, how you think we're actually doing out there. Um, so it'll be some good information, you know, if we like hard or not. Or no. <laughs> Another topic is uh, community policing. Um, uh, Chief Kilborn and I had a brief, really brief conversation about this, but uh, um, I'd like to approach. Uh, our chief on that and have them explore with other communities of what they're doing and best practices approach. Um, we have an awesome police department. You guys, uh, I, you know, I tell everybody that I, I grew up in the police department. I grew up here. This used to be a trailer up here when my dad used to bring us to the old police start station. So really, um, I was a fireman for 29 years, but re oh, actually I'm still a fireman. Um, I'll be a fireman the rest of my life, but uh, I actually blew up, grew up in the police department. So I always say my blood is blue, guys. So. Seriously. So, um, but the fire department, what can I say? I worked there 29 years. I'm confident that uh, we will continue to move forward. Um, working uh, with the functional consolidation, I'm sure a lot of you maybe have not heard about it, but we are definitely working towards uh, moving forward. With Manager Rooney and, uh, and, and the fire chief and the other four, three departments that uh, 
that are included. So Rutland Dundee, is, if if you haven't heard, have, has actually come on board with it now. So so we're a little, we're excited about that moving forward. Um, and we and we started that process a few years ago with uh, Chief Schultz, um, Chief Reinders, Chief Roseline, and our Director of Public Safety, Mr. Pop, is here tonight. L. Pop. So um, they all worked on it prior to uh, prior to the new uh, chief coming in, and we're going to continue working on it and uh, make the better uh, future department here. So. Uh, public works and streets, uh, water, sewer, waste, and underground personnel. I want to uh, say thanks to all those guys. I know them all real well. Um, you know, they do a good job every day. Everybody doesn't know what they do behind the scenes, but they're out there. When we're sleeping, they're out there snow, uh, snow plowing. You know, they're doing it out there. So uh, thanks, guys. Um, I just wanted to say uh, I want to build a network where each of the three big departments um, can actually talk. We, um, we don't really sometimes communicate well with each other. I mean, if the policemen are out there, maybe they can email or shoot a text or something over to public works and say, hey, can you pick up this dead raccoon over here on Lincoln? You know what I mean? So, um, so I think we need to do a little better job of communicating. I, it's, I think it's doable. I think our IT guys are, uh, are excellent, and I think they can get that done for us. So that's something that we want to talk about here in the near future, too, just, just communicating better. So. Um, Code enforcement, um, I, I kind of ran on that. I said we were going to strengthen code enforcement. I haven't really had the conversation with, the, with staff yet about it but uh, and the board, so I want to I talk to them about it, and, and uh, hopefully we can strengthen that and move forward and, you know, make the village the best we can make it, right? So um, community development. I've been meeting already with, uh, with the department heads, as I, as I said, and I met with uh, – with, um, Director Burke and Mark uh, Huber in the community development, and we've talked about we're going to get out there and meet the res meet the business owners and um, keep moving forward. Um, I mean, just an example: Stanley Machinery down on on uh, Maple right here. I mean, they just built a new factory in uh, in Hampshire, and you know sometimes I wonder did we lose an out on an opportunity because we didn't know their plan or f for future? You know, and Director Burke is new here, so. He's going to get out there, and we're going to get out there, and we're going to make sure that we don't lose a business like that again. Maybe we can offer them uh, another area that they could, you know, build another factory in. So, so that's some of the stuff we're looking at. It's exciting. Um, bring some more business to the community, and um, hopefully then we can drop our taxes if we keep bringing in more revenue, right? So that's our goal. Yeah. <laughs> we got our tax bills yesterday, right? Yeah. So we all know about that. <laughs> I want to thank again to all the residents for coming out tonight, um, our business owners, village trustees that participated in many of, the, many of the committees that go on, you guys. There's a lot of committees and a lot of action going on that people don't know about behind the scenes. There's a business development that um, um, Mr. Humphrey runs, Trustee Humphrey, um, for us. And those guys are, those guys are way behind the scenes. They have, you have no idea who they are. They're just out there, you know, and br making big decisions for our village, though. And they're all business and community leaders. So I want to say thanks to them. Police and fire commissioners, we've all worked with those guys. Um, they're great guys and gals, um, and many others, zoning and parks. Oh, Pat's not here. Um, so we have all worked together, um, and we want to continue working together and make things, um, make things great and keep moving forward. We have a call? <laughs> <laughs> As a lifelong resident of Village of Carpenters, I'm very proud to have given um, that you've all given your, my support. It's um, it's now my task to uh, strengthen our community and bring it forward, the community together in one common goal. I've uh, met with um, leaders on the east side, the Hispanic community, and we're going to bring this community together as one. You know, instead of just saying east side or the west side, you know, some people think they live in West Carpentersville. Well. We live in one Carpentersville, so we want to be proud of that. <laughs> Again, thank you for your support, everybody. Um, I hope it's uh, well earned and uh, your endeavor to earn your trust um, for your place to be placed on me. I'm sorry. Uh, working with the board in a civil manner will uh, help us maintain professional ability to uh, move forward and entertain new opportunities, and we will continue moving forward into the future, as Ed spoke earlier. So thank you again, and um, I'd like to adjourn the meeting if possible.
take a motion. I'll motion to adjourn the meeting. Mm -hmm. I'll second. Uh, second. A motion by Trustee Humphrey. Second by Trustee Sabi. All in favor? All in favor? Aye. 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 Meeting adjourned.